So for today, we're going to be looking at Ashen Wake. I got asked for not too long ago. And this is pretty interesting considering this exotic I've been using since forever. I don't even remember when I, I put this on. It's been that long. And it's one of my favorite exotics for the Titans. It's super fun, makes builds so much more fun. And I've made a lot of looks for this over the years. So I'm going to give you my top three. And then we're actually going to go into the game and I'll show you like what pieces I go for, because I do think it's important considering this exotic not only looks, it looks cool, but it just looks so specific. And it also does have pieces that don't change color. So I think it's important for this one specifically. So if you guys like the video, like, comment, subscribe, it really does help. And I'm not saying that just to say that it actually really does. When I see really cool comments like, oh, you've helped me out or you're, you're, you're like my favorite content creator. Like those type of comments really just help me go through the muck of just like YouTube in general. So. I really do appreciate it. Other than that, let's look at what this exotic does. So bring the heat. Fusion grenades now explode on impact and gain increased throw speed. Final blows with fusion grenades grant grenade energy. So this is like one of the best grenade exotics in the game, just because not only does it change how your grenade functions, you gain more throw speed and your final blows with your fusion grenades grant grenade energy. Like I really wish other classes got this, this kind of treatment because it's fun it it's so much fun i i my, I, I don't want to talk about it too much because it is really simplistic it's just your grenades go boom they go fast and occasionally you get energy from it so that's really it as for how it actually looks unfortunately uh, as much as i love this exotic it just doesn't look great um don't get me wrong it looks cool by itself but then when you try to combine it with other pieces then that's where i kind of really struggle because again uh, most of the chest pieces that you're going to try to combine this with are going to look too small with it. And the, a lot of the geometry is just like, we don't have a lot of armor pieces like that. So you're going to also struggle with that, uh, shadering situation. Unfortunately, the button, the purple button on the next to the elbow doesn't change color. The like plate color of like where the button is that whole plate piece, the pieces next to it, that coil, those don't change color. So that's unfortunate. And pretty much that plate color is also on the pauldron itself as well. The like side plate color does not change color as well. That gray. So that's not going to change color. Uh, I don't think it's that crazy because gray is not that much of like an offender as like, for example, purple, yellow, anything like that. If it's like a like a neutral color, like black, white, uh, gray, any of those colors, I don't think it's a big deal because you can work around that. But if it's like purple, yellow, red, anything like that, it's too much and it really does stifle you. So I don't think this is a big deal. I do think the button is more of a big deal than the actual plate piece, but that's just me personally. I do think Echoed Anger looks amazing with it. And I, this is a shader I actually use with it like quite a bit. And Abyssinian Gold uh, looks pretty terrible with it. But again, that's more personally me because I don't like Abyssinian Gold's plate armor color, which is why I'm going to be switching the Abyssinian Gold shader to something else in the future uh for the first example set this is where it's going to be fun because this is like one of my main bread and butter looks this is one look that i'm just like i'm just gonna go for like this because i know it looks cool but it doesn't look the best with the arms so for the shader echo anger is the one i'm using because that's the one i actually usually usually use with this for the helmet wildwood helm because i like how it looks with the sunbreak plate and I like the Braytech snow boots because of how it looks with the sunbreak plate and then uh, bullet or bullet smith's ire mark because I want to just have everything kind of bulked out. So I do think the the better choice for the boots would probably be the one from the dungeon, specifically the uh, the cabal one. Uh, the boots name is called the deep explorer greaves. I think that one is a lot better because it's a lot thinner. But I wanted something thicker for the boots for this look because the arms are really thick and I just wanted to have something thicker as well at the bottom. But usually Sunbreak Plate look goes really well with the Deep Explorer Greaves. Uh, nothing too much to say about this one. I just wanted a bulky look for this and a lot of the pieces that I'm using has a, a bulky look to it. Uh, the helmet I like a lot because uh, it's bulky but it's also like smooth at the top which the shoulder plates are as well smooth at the top so that's why I kind of use them. But this is not the best one. I don't think this is the best one for it because this is more of a like, I don't care about the arms. I just want to look cool for everything but my arms. So this one might be a little bit of a cop out for a few people, but that's also why I have two extra sets, which speaking of which the second set is a variation of a set that I made in 
a previous video. I don't know which one it is, but I do know that I have the Instagram picture, which is right here. And it's just a variation of a set that I've made with, um, I think Doom, Doomfang pauldrons. I think I did it with, but I'll have the picture up right now. And yeah, it's a, it's a, it's one of my favorite, uh, sets that I've made. And I just decided to put it with this set because again, the arms are just very annoying. Don't, don't get me wrong. I do have a set that's like dedicated for the arms, which is the third set. And I actually really, really love it. But for the helmet, Iron Companion is a new addition to this whole set just because the fret at the top is really cool. I would probably switch out the Burguzi and Nightshader for something else for all of it, just because it does change the fur into a purple hue, which I personally don't think is a good choice. Uh, but I still like the helmet enough to be like, I don't care. The chest piece Devastation Complex is an easy choice because the fur can give you the illusion of having a bigger chest piece, which is why I'm using it. The greaves are going to be the Jensen Knight Greaves. This is one of my favorite greaves to combine with the Virtuous Mark just because the the like crotch plate for the Virtuous Mark looks really good for the Jensen Knight Greaves. So nothing too much to explain about this one as well, just because I, I think it looks really cool. But again, the Devastation Complex I'm using for a specific reason, and that reason is so that way I can almost trick people into thinking my chest piece is bigger than what it actually is um and then everything else is just kind of like it looks cool which is why i'm combining it but the chest piece is specifically there because of that so titans let me know what you guys think do you like the first or second one let me know in the comments below because the third one personally is my favorite it just looks super dope uh for that one we're going to be looking at the actual in game because I uh, made this in game. I, I recorded this video or I say I should say I didn't record this because I thought I was recording and then I found that I wasn't. It doesn't matter because we're going to look at uh, pieces that I think look good with this. So the helmet deep explorer helmet looks really good with this with the Bray Tech iron heart engine. I do think this is going to be the best chest piece for the arms because again uh, this chest piece is fucking massive and when you get out of the customization appearance screen your titan like bows out her arms a little and it makes the shoulder pads a lot smaller well not a lot but smaller to the point where it actually looks better we'll back out just to show you but for the boots forge machinist greaves is an easy choice just because i want to have like a like a mechanical look to to uh, go with the chest piece and then wing discipline specifically because the empirical imperative shader is uh not the best when it comes to cloth specifically uh stuff like this you'll have this light green which i am not a fan of which is why i'm using the wing discipline because the light green is on the uh, phoenix itself and it's so small that i don't really care for it or you can just outright go for another shader the only issue is you won't get this blue as well and i don't think we have this type of blue in another shader which is why i was like i'm not gonna fight this i'm just gonna go with a, a shader i know is not gonna fight me and this one was an easy choice so this is definitely a set that I really, really love to the point where I'm actually just going to wear this now for for my uh, for my Ashen Wakes. But there are other pieces you can use. Again, like I said, you can use the Phoenix Strife or the Devastation Complex pieces if you want to have the illusion of a bigger chest piece. Because when you do this, uh, especially when you back out, it looks way better. Let me uh, speaking of which back out. So you can, as you guys can see, she bows her arms out a little more and it actually looks a lot better for me personally. It looks a lot better. Just be aware that I don't like this part of the chest piece. This is like one of the pieces I don't like, but I'm going to ignore it because I think this does look really cool. But again, for chest pieces, you're going to want to go for like really big pieces like this one, this one. The Virtuous Plate is also a really good choice. And this actually does look cool as well because the back is really big and it doesn't really matter that the front's not as big because the back is so big that it doesn't matter um for boots that's where i'm kind of lax because i can really do whatever i want it's mainly the chest piece that you really have to fight because if you do something like this then i already think that's too small because um the shoulder pads are just so fucking massive that you really really have to be careful what chest piece you use because it's just gonna look really weird like it's it's unfortunate but that's just how it really is uh, something like this is also okay like it's not gonna look great but i think this is passable because the fur is not the, is there because if you don't have the fur there and you put something like this then you just see so much gap right there so i do think the fur is important which speaking of which like something like this is also pretty cool like personally i think this is pretty cool just because the collar and the top 
is good but yeah that's pretty much where my head goes to just it, your whole look is going to be like make or break on your chest piece if your chest piece is not looking good then it's gonna you're everyone's gonna notice it and also this is what i was talking about i think this looks super cool like i actually do think this whole set looks super cool maybe switch out the helmet because again i don't like using the same helmet or the same armor pieces but i would do something like this which also looks really cool maybe switch out the shader for something like um no oh, let's do let's do let's do Kerminica, i guess i would probably do Carminica, even though the orange kind of bugs me there let me see about this one i would probably do this one this one looks really cool so yeah titans let me know what you guys think i do apologize that it's this this exotics unfortunately just uh it's too big especially and this is just on females i know on titan or male titans it's just gonna look way bigger so the best advice i can give you is make sure you pair it with a chest piece that is bulky so that way it doesn't look weird when like she bows out because then at that point you'll have like a few inches of like difference between your shoulder pad and your shul and your actual chest piece so let me know what you guys think be safe i appreciate you guys all i have a bunch of content that i'm still working through um we're gonna be going through the exotic videos that i have we currently have one two three four five six seven eight nine nine in total and by the time this video comes out i will be most likely having to do one two three four five six so six more after this is up so we still have a lot of content to go through again if you are interested in any exotic being showcased let me know in the comments below i will definitely respond in, in case like the exotics already done i will tell you like all oh, this video is already done you can check it right here um once we are done with the exotic videos we will most likely return to them still like kind of like a second round type thing, so, so that way i can like veto myself of using the same set that i used in beforehand so that way i can pr like actually pressure myself to think outside the box and whatnot uh but that is a long ways away because again we are not done with all of them yet and once we are then we'll look into the round two thing but yeah this also does not apply to just exotics if you guys want me to showcase or review like a specific armor piece or set let me know in the comments below i'll definitely try to get started on that but thank you guys i appreciate you guys all and i'll see you guys later